Okay, we've got a brake video here, another brake video. Today we're going to show you how to uh, put the calipers on, the bracket, and uh, the pads, and then install them on the bike. All in one video, so hopefully. Um, here's your caliper. If you want to get new pads, I would recommend a new pen, and uh, you can reuse your old uh, uh, hardware if, you, if, if it's in good condition. So, um, First thing you want to do, you want to grease up the pins. Throw some grease on those. You don't really need a whole bunch, but <clears throat> and then you want to throw some grease on the, uh, the rubber seals there. That's essentially what these slide into. So okay, they're all greased up. Also, I like to actually grease the pen itself. That doesn't really need a whole lot. Okay, so we've got those all greased up. <clears throat> Next thing you want to do is this is your bracket. You take this, and it only really goes on one way. We'll see how it fits in there. So, simply put that in place, set that aside. Next thing you want to do is this little clip here. Uh, it can go on a couple different ways, at least it looks like it, but it goes on actually. It goes on this way, see? <laughs> Confusing myself. It goes on that way there. I don't know if you saw that. I'm not sure if I actually caught that. I'm trying to look at the camera and I missed it. So it goes on like such. So then you want to put your brake pads on. These have to go on like such. Like this would be the inside and then the outside would go the other way. So just set those into place for the time being. So here it is. You've got them into place. Now put your pen in. You may have to push these down because that one clamp is, acts as a spring. Push them down a little bit. There you go. You have to screw it in a little bit. You don't have to tighten it all the way down yet. But to go through that other pad, you will have to thread them on a little bit. So, go ahead and do that. One size. Should have been a little bit more prepared. And that noise in the background is actually a fan. Uh, my wife got me a new fan for the garage. It's not real loud and it's right behind me. So, put that in. You don't have to screw it on the way. There you go. Now, the next thing you want to do is probably the trickiest part. Again, make sure this clip is in here. You've got to put this pin on. You've got to put this this actual mount on, keeping the clip in. <coughs> excuse me. And pushing it in the pins. So, see, it only goes only one way. You can really go with this thing. I don't know if you can see that. In, in. Get it started a bit. You have to push the brake part. There we go. So, I don't know how much of that you actually saw. It's kind of difficult to, to film and look at the camera to actually work on the product and the camera at the same time. Push this all the way in. You can see that. And then you've got your disc exactly where they need to be, or your pads, I should say. So there's that portion. Now let's uh, go to the bike. 
Okay, the bike, now we're still holding this, kind of closed. On the bike, it's, it's pretty simple. It only goes one way. It goes like such. You see that? I'm going to have to slide it over the, the rotor. And then kind of hold it in place. And then just get your bolt started. And that is essentially it. Tighten everything down to the torque specifications. You'll have to, uh, all that will get adjusted once we uh, put the brake lines on and put fluid in there and, and bleed everything. But that's essentially how you would change your brakes. Um, you probably wouldn't want to take the, uh, the brake line off, you know, when you're actually just doing a, a pad install. Just a pad install is, is pretty simple. Um, you could uh, leave one of these bolts on, swing it down, and then just leave it hanging there so you wouldn't have to do all that. But that's it for the front. I mean, I, I hope, hopefully I caught most of that. So sorry if I didn't. I can redo it. Well, I probably won't redo it, but uh, uh, we'll move to the back next, and then uh, we'll go from there. I'll try to keep it in this video. If it's too long after I edit it, uh, we'll, we'll put it in another video. So stay tuned.